All right. Um, this hand seems pretty bad. I think I probably should mulligan. Although we have both colors, we have an E-witness an e that doesn't do anything. And a couple of seven drops and eight drops that I can't do anything with. So I think we got a mull. Um, this hand's okay. Could have some problems, but Grizzly Salvage can help us find maybe a cheap creature. Which could be beneficial. Yeah, green-blue ramp is, is pretty much all I, I see in terms of ramp in this format. So that is a little bit boring. It's kind of boring that green-blue ramp is, is pretty much the ramp deck. Just because blue's got all the card draw. So, I mean, it makes sense. It just kind of sucks that there's not really a great ramp strategy for a lot of other colors. You pretty much just need a bunch of card draw to make ramp function. Or you just open a hand that's got a bunch of 7 drops, or you open a hand that's got a bunch of ramp cards. Or you get lucky, and then he slams a 7 drop on turn 3, and we lose. Which can easily happen too, but I can't do anything about it. So yeah, it's green blue ramp, draw a bunch of cards. Makes sense. Draw a bunch of cards, power out some seven drops on turn four. I've been there. It's a good deck. Much better than what we got, I assume. <laughs> well I haven't seen the fatties yet though. Alright, see if we can't find a reclamation sage for that grim monolith, that would be nice. All right, Abrupt Decay is good enough. I'm going to take... Oh, I can't. <laughs> I was like, I'll take the Abrupt Decay. I can't. So, uh, Creature or Land. I guess we take the... What's the birds do that the Cobra doesn't? I don't have any fetch, so I don't see why the Cobra would be better. I guess it can attack and ramp. But I guess we take the birds. Maybe we find a servitude. Get lucky. Hey, Shriek Ma is not bad. I kind of feel like I want to save the Shriek Ma for the first fatty he plays, though. Because I'm going to have a harder time dealing with that. So we'll get the birds out. And then I can at least hard cast Shriek Ma. So the game plan is get the Titan into the Gristle brand, which is good. No, okay. Let's see what his post combat play here is. No post combat play. So what are we looking at? Like Teferi or something? I don't know. No plays yet. All right. Well, it's not that bad. No attacks. Hmm. Leaving up a counter spell, maybe? I don't know. But we're going to go for prime time. It's pretty harsh. So, I guess I should have uh I guess I should have guessed. I guess I should have guessed. Some real good English right there.
Getting Elvish Mystic Trigon Predator Beatdown. That's pretty interesting. It's a new one to me. Braska. All right. <clears throat> All right. Drew some more land. Am I ready to Shriek Maw yet? I guess I have to be to take out the Vraska. Next turn, we've got a Gristle Brand, so got that going for us. Could have killed his ramp creature, I guess, but felt like taking out the uh, other dude was better. I mean, at least I'm a mana away from Gristlebrand, I guess. All right, so we'll attack Vraska. Well, I guess the problem is if I attack Vraska, then... I lose my Shriek Maw. If I had a token generator, I'd feel better. The fact that he's got all his mana up is... I guess pretty indicative he's got a counter spell. Why don't we attack Vraska first, see how that works out for us. I'm going to guess lose my Shriek Maw, but I don't want to deal with Assassin tokens and lose to those right now. Kind of nice. Uh, well, I guess we pass. I don't have to draw the seven just now. All right. To get the servitude. Crystal Brand's a pretty stupid card. Doesn't make a lot of sense that they printed this card. So let's see how much mana I've got total. I can So I've got eight I can work with. So we can go let's see. I 
go Sage, Destroy Monolith, Diabolic Servitude, Grissop Brand. Or Diabolic Servitude, Grissop Brand, plus Bone Shredder or something. Nah. Let's just do Sage first. Well, I guess if he's got like... Well, I guess we'll do Sage first to get rid of the Monolith. Okay, so now while the man is still floating, I go to post combat. And then we do servitude. <laughs> How did he do that with one mana? Oh, he had the Elvish Mystic. Well. That's unfortunate luck for us, so I guess I should have just... I was, like, playing around a different counter spell, but I guess we're just going to lose to lose to that. I just wish I'd drafted an aggro deck. I don't know why I'm even... Why do I try other things? I just... I, I don't even like mid-range in this format. I really don't know why I keep trying to do something other than aggressive strategies that I'm good at. I don't know. I just don't understand my, my reasoning. People just keep trying to tell me, No, mid-range is good, man. I'm not good at it. Maybe it is good. I'm just, I'm not good at it. I'm a little surprised. I guess I can, I guess what I should have done is, I think I see where I screwed up now. I should have tried to bestow his gristle brand. Because it would have killed it. So I actually screwed up. That was my bad logic that, that cost me here. So I ended up losing needlessly is what I'm trying to say. I didn't have to lose this game that badly. I should have just tried to target the Gristle Brand. I would have gotten a dude back. So that was just a botch on my part for sure. But once again it boils down to not being very good at strategies like this. Not knowing the best plays. With cards that you're not used to playing. So we still lose. I can't. Uh, I don't think I can come back now. Uh, not when he's got just. The world at. I guess it doesn't matter. I might as well play it out. What does it matter. At this point. Might as well just get as much gameplay as I can in. So he gets to draw a bajillion more cards. Infinitely more cards than I can deal with. And I guess we'll drop an Elder. And I guess we'll drop a... Coalition Relic, because Bone Shredder doesn't seem necessary. So he gets to destroy my guy, gain just just a trillion life. Just a trillion. Alright, so for next game, remember to bestow or try and target the phantasmal image it's going to be a good way to win um, otherwise I'm just probably not looking so good but uh, I'll keep the Eureka around just in case I, I really do wish this deck was better it's it's just not fun going into a draft with a really subpar deck you know and it's just so much easier to craft a nice aggressive deck it's so easy to do and these decks, the mid-rangey decks, are so reliant on 
having a good mix of ramp, having a good mix of whatever you're you're trying to do. I, I just don't like decks that are reliant on certain types of cards. Like think what's a what's an aggressive deck reliant on? Cheap creatures. That's it. Don't need anything else. You got enough cheap creatures, you're good. What is this deck reliant on? Well, it was reliant on having fatties, having reanimator spells, having ways to get spells in your graveyard. Think of all the, the different pieces you need to make a good mid-range deck like this. It's like, it's it's more complicated than it ends up being worth it, in my opinion, in the end. All right, I don't have a sideboard, so let's just do this again. Wait, I don't think I do. Pro Black. Wait, Life Bane, actually. All right, Life Bane is actually good in this match. So maybe I cut the... Uh, since he's not aggressive, we can probably cut the, the Finks. All right, let's try this. Eureka, huh? Yeah, Eureka's not looking so good right now, but... We'll keep this hand. Eureka's probably not that great in this matchup since he's got a lot of fatties, but it's all right. Our opponent's deck doesn't even make a ton of sense to me, since I just saw a bunch of ramp and then counter spells like Mana Leak and Miscalculation, so I just, I don't even understand it, really. It's just... Ramp, usually ramp means ramp into fatties, not ramp into counter spells that are cheap, so I'm just sort of confused, but, I mean, he beat the crap out of us. I could have sacked there, but I didn't really see a reason to right now. What am I ramping towards? All right, so I lost uh, some pretty good spells there. Well, Hermit would have been a pretty good one to ramp into, but I still don't have the land to do it. I think I'm going to Metamorph here. I need two lands next turn to get Ashiok, so. Eternal Witness, pretty good. So we'll sack our elders. What I can do is not pay the Echo and Servitude again, get more dudes. 
He's got Cyclonic Rift in his deck, but oh well. There's an Avenger. Um, can I have Garrick or Cultivate an Underground River? Um, I can't do anything about that because I don't have a sack outlet. I see. So do I want to pay the Echo? He's getting an Avenger next turn. I don't have my Toxic Deluge anymore. Um... So what's my best turn here? I pay the Echo or I don't in Servitude again. He has Counterspell mana as well as just a grip full of cards. So I guess I just pay the Echo. Um, I got a feeling we're probably just getting rifted, Cyclonic rifted. But I can't do anything about it, so. Um, he did subtract, so my guys won't get... I, I What I feel like is going to happen is I'm going to attack in. He's either going to block or Cyclonic Rift and then block, so. I feel like I'm just going to lose, but I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do here. Um, I just hope he doesn't have a counterspell, and then he gets a normal trade block, or it's just not a good position at all. Um I honest to God have absolutely no idea what to do here. I, I attack Ashiok, he either Cyclonic Rifts my Hermit and blocks, pays the thing, smashes me back for a trillion. Um, maybe I don't have any choice. I honestly have no idea. I feel like he's just going to eat all of my squirrels. Um, I think I'd chill, honestly. If I, it, there's... there's Nothing good is going to come from attacking. Whether I attack and he gets my stuff, that's not good. Whether I uh, stay back, he gets to build these. There really is no good play here at all. Um, so I'm just going to pass. I just feel like he's got a bounce spell. And I feel like he's got a counter spell. Both of which are pretty insane uh, against me at this moment. Well, I played his land first, so that's a good sign for the Avenger. He also could get back a witness. I guess there's a target for Reclamation Sage, but... Could top deck a crater hoof BMS and then maybe Eureka gets better. It's just got all of our good creatures.
Hey, there's a crystal brain. Um, you can kill it with Garrick. I don't know if I have any luxuries here. I think he kills it with Garrick and then maybe Ashiok all ultimates, but then at least I get rid of Ashiok, I guess. So maybe it's in our best interest to... Just Eureka. Let me think. He upped Jace too, so all of my guys can't really attack efficiently. Um, I guess we just Eureka. So let's do Sage first. All the triggers are going to get on the stack. Maybe I want to wait on the Bone Shredder till last. So let's do Servitude. Oh, he doesn't have any more permanents. That's a good sign. So we'll Bone Shredder. And Gristlebrain. All right. So... This is actually pretty good for us. Let's do the Bone Shredder last. Uh, wait, does that mean I last in, first out? Hmm. So if I click Sage first, what happens? So I want to click the Servitude. I want the Servitude to resolve first. Oh, I have to choose an artifact or enchantment, yeah. Okay, that one. Um, Bone Shredder. It's going to kill this. But first, Diabolic Servitude is going to pick Metamorph. So he'll draw his cards from that. I'm going to servitude my metamorph, copy the prime speaker. Draw a bunch of cards. So we'll copy prime speaker. Draw seven. Kill Prime Speaker. Destroy that. Um, play a land. Could also Cobra, I guess, but let's just play a land. Could have Rift at this point, but can't do much about that.
Alright, so now we discard everything with Ashiok. Because he drew the rift. Oh, I guess not. I think we'll be lucky to walk away with a win in this draft, but that's all right. It's going to be a lesson in just what kind of dra uh, what kind of cuber I am, which is, I guess, the bottom rung. I'm I'm the aggro one. I've I've just I've got nothing else. I've only got one card left in my deck. How did I draw the extra cards? I missed that. Did I draw another four somewhere? I thought I had five left, but I don't know. Um, yeah, we'd be we'd be really lucky. We would be very lucky to get a win out of this draft. I don't think it's happening. Um, and that's not just lack of confidence. It's just not a good deck. It's it's realism. We're not playing a good deck. So I don't expect to uh, be able to do anything. Um, there's no possible way of victory this time around. So I don't really know why I'm playing. But I guess because I paid for this, so... I might as well do something. <laughs> Could have discarded the Gristle brand, but at this point I can hard cast it, so I guess it doesn't matter. And it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Let's just save time. I guess I, I can't win. All right. I'll uh, see you round two. Really hopeful I, I can get one game this draft. That'd be nice. Get one match, rather.